Hi, so the talk that I'm planning for tonight has to do with the relationship between the third and fourth chakras. But before we get into any conversation about the chakra system, I find it's really helpful to just sort of define what I mean in the way that I refer to the chakra system. So generally for me, there's, there's two meanings that I think are really useful and, and relevant in a contemporary context. One is that the chakra system is like a map of the mind-body connection or a map of how the psyche lives in the body. And the map points us in the direction of the territory. The territory is an actual set of experiences that we have through practice. And the map is not a literal thing to be believed in. It doesn't represent anything supernatural. Like all mythic symbols, like all poetic metaphors, like all spiritually inspired artistic expression, it's a way of representing something that can't really be represented in a linear way or in a, in a literal way. It's rather symbolic. Uh, it's a mythic symbol that points us towards an experience. And so the second way of, of thinking about the chakra system or applying the chakra system is that it's a map also of stages of development, stages of development that all of us go through. Um, but those stages of development don't unfold in a purely linear fashion, like a stepladder where you go from one rung to the next, and as you step up, you're done with the rung before. Um, this sort of old idea that you're going to transcend uh, the lower chakras and move up to the higher chakras in order to be a spiritual person. I think a better way to think about it is that it's like a set of expanding concentric circles. And as you move through these stages, each stage is broader and wider and in fact more inclusive. Um, of course, one is going to move beyond the limitations of the earlier stage as one continues to grow. So the phrase that I like um, comes from Ken Wilber, which is transcend and include. So you're still including the gifts, the awareness, the abilities from the earlier stages, but you are transcending uh, the limitations and, and hopefully healing some of uh, whatever wounds or traumas might exist in the earlier stages. So that's just a brief introduction on two ways of thinking about the chakra system in a, in a kind of grounded, contemporary sense.